Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Insane Gamers, and this is part 74 of Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005. And we are going to challenge Razor, Blacklist number 1. Now this would, once we beat him, technically be the end of the game, apart from the fact that you've got a police pursuit that uh, happens. So that will be the next episode, although I'm recording it in a double episode, I guess. I'm recording them both together because you can't really... If you quit, you can't do it again, so... Yeah. Anyway, that is what I will be doing. Um, and we have five events that we need to do. We have a speed trap, a drag, a sprint, a circuit, and a sprint. Let's do it. And of course, Razor will be in the, BM the BMW M3 GTR. And I will be in the Porsche Carrera GT. Also, I have a cup of tea here. Because... Because I do. Good to see you've been a while. Just keep running like you have, and this race is yours. Look who came crawling back. I'm glad you're here, Sugar Plum. You brought me luck last time. Make sure you smoke him and get that ride back. I'll take care of the rest. You ready to donate another car to the Razor Fun, baby? It's go time. This should be quite easy. Hopefully. <laughs> I can't remember how easy the Razor ones are. If you haven't seen it, um, the... The two-player episode, uh, which is the commentary of me and Chris, uh, basically has the end police pursuit from this game. But it has the last race of this as well, and I, f all, I flipped the car over on the last corner. It's insane. Basically, it's from when I played this for my proper account, because I, I I have a Let's Play account and I have an act. Well, yeah, I have a Let's Play account uh, that I do for single player games like this, and then I have my regular account which I use for actual gaming myself, and also for multiplayer Let's Plays because you know you can't really. I'm not paying for gold twice. Basically, I have this single player account that's not hooked up to live because I do get a lot. Honestly, for how small our channel is, we do get a lot of messages from people being like, You're cool. I, do I really want to. That didn't even work anyway. I was going to say, Do I really want to do that to my own car? Oh, now he's in the lead. Shit. Should I follow him? Yeah, me as well. I'm definitely going faster than him. Because, let's be honest, the BMW M3 GTR, not as fast as this vehicle. No way, Jose. Ah, my controller. <laughs> this is the problem. It was having an issue where the battery pack doesn't stay in properly. I don't think... No, that was... I somehow managed to... I have no idea what the hell's happening. Hey, he crashed anyway. So even though I was doing 80, I don't think he'll be able to beat me on that. I was only doing 80. Yeah, my controller's a bit of a pain in the arse right now. It hates me. Also, this is a really long race, but uh, we're now 200 miles an hour ahead of him, so... Uh, even if... We don't beat him. But what? There we go. Look, see, I won. <laughs> right, on to the next race, which is a drag. And you know I hate drag races. <laughs> so I don't know how many times we'll do this. I vaguely seem to remember this, this one being somewhat easy. But I could be wrong on that. Considering I'm over revving right now, probably not. Oh no, this is the one where there's a pain in the ass coming up, isn't it? They have these really heavy, heavy ones. Luckily, you can just hit restart when, whenever, if you don't win. But you have to, yeah. If I remember, you have to do this one perfect. Ah, oh, great. This controller is the worst. I don't know what it is with this battery pack. 
I don't want to get rid of this controller because it has some modified thumbsticks, but how can I describe? Um, it's the Halo 4 one. I crashed. That's great. Yeah, it's the Halo 4 controller, and basically the thumbsticks are completely different than the regular Xbox 360. Uh, the regular Xbox 360 thumbsticks. They're much better. The only problem is it was only available when Halo 4 was available. So, I wasn't in that lane, I was in the other lane. You stupid game. I hate drag races so much because of that. Because they don't understand what lanes are. And then look. I think, you know, I'm going to slow down just for that, uh, for that intersection. He says, well, just using nitrous, apparently. No, but I'm going to slow down, you see. Like this. Well, even... See, I didn't even... Oh, well, that failed. <laughs> that plan failed. Maybe I should just let him crash through that intersection. I'm going to do. Well, try to anyway. I'm not going to use any of my nitrous. Come on, come on. That was an early shift. Oh. Well, I don't know what happened there, but something happened. <laughs> <sighs> you see why I hate drag races? Especially at the end of the game. They're the worst. And I know everyone likes them, but they are, they really are just terrible. How did he do that? Or did he crash? I don't see him. Oh my god, I think he crashed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you totaled my car, you dick. <laughs> Only I'm allowed to do that. Right, at least we've got the drag race out of there. I do apologise about the length of that. That's just terrible. Oh, and I, for some reason, thought it was a drag race again. I knew it wasn't, but my brain was just like, no, you need to shift. <laughs> and I shifted up, and it kind of ruined my start there. What's it? This is a sprint. Not a circuit, yes. The fact that it says complete uh, lets me know that. And I haven't seen any speed traps, and can't see any on the map, so yeah. Also, if you look, this is basically the same one where we ran out of gas before and I hate saying the word gas I want to say the word petrol because I'm pretty that's how, that it's petroleum that was pain why was that even there but yeah when we ran out of petrol earlier when we were driving that car it should it would have been hilarious if he broke down Ugh, this controller man I don't know what it is. Like, I'm, I'm even holding the battery pack in place now. You know what sucks? I got some solitaire. And I... I covered the battery pack in place with it. And it was holding it earlier. Yep, he has just essentially totaled my vehicle again, hasn't he? Go. Should I? Oh, slow me down. Here. No, I didn't slow him down. You just avoided it. Uh, 
is catching up as well because of the river band AI. Dealing with Razor is so annoying. How long is this race? <laughs> also, I really feel sorry for that driving owner because every time I smash through that. I think Razor crashed there as well. I'm not sure. I think he did, but who knows. And we're going to this area again? Well, does he like this area of him? This is where the last race ended. Literally the exact same place. Rosewood PD, just look out for a red Porsche Carrera GT. <coughs> God. Mm. I've finished my cup of tea now and we can do the circuit rest. And I want to cough. <coughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> the AI almost flipped me over. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> That's three laps. You can leave. I can't remember exactly how this track goes. Which is annoying because I really should, but uh Oh yeah, we can. That's the problem with this car. It, pressing speed trap doesn't seem to level it out. No, not speed trap, was it? Speed breaker. Speed trap's the name of the event. Yes. Pressing it doesn't seem to level it out like it did with every other car. I'm assuming because of the so, like the amount of downfalls that the car has anyway. And we'd have to go this way. Because there's one race where you, you turn there and you just have to restart the race all over again. But this is a really long course as well. Smashing into everything there. <laughs> hmm. Yep, I knew he would. I was going to take that as we flip upside down to go around this corner. You can't take it up there though, which is nice. Yes, Razor seems to take no all the shots. Well, which is understandable considering he is the last boss of the game, I guess. Oh, and we have to drive through this. Oh no. This is the worst thing to go through speed. Because I always used to hit those things when I was younger. He's smashing through everything. Okay, here we go, that's a lap. That's a taxi that I just hit. Shouldn't have been there. I want my car back. 
I spent the past two years playing this game for you guys. I want that car back. This series is almost up. I can't believe that. It, this is the fifth. The first one was the fifth video on the channel, I believe. Fifth or sixth. Can't remember. But, uh. Yeah, it's shocking. And actually, yesterday I got a message from Theod. Effective Theod on Aaron. Um, he was like, oh, no, I haven't done videos with you for like. two years. But I've been busy, but. No one doing again. Um, I was like, we like in GTA. I'm like, whatever. What the hell was that river? And yes, we're going to take this shortcut. Because why would we do Don't bottom out my car. That sound was painful when I heard it then. <laughs> he is really trying to give me a travel and just me. But it's not gonna be as bad as challenge as the uh as the police pursuit. Hey, he did what I used to do and crashed. Good. We can Use that to gain a bit of a, uh, a gap, I guess. And I know the last race ends at the boardwalk. No, I've just realised. I don't think I did, but I, I assume I've, I'm going to assume that I probably did at one point. But I remember there being loads of races that ended the drove through the woods there. That I used to hit, because I always used to hit the trees. I'm thinking there must have been a circuit race, I didn't really do them on this play through. But I always used to because I hated the uh, toll booth races for some reason. I always used to fail at them. Back in the PS2 era. Which is understandable actually. Because I, I found the graphics comparison and I shared it last time with one of these episodes. And the PS2 version of this game, I can't believe I'm I mean, granted it was on a CRT, so that fixed some of the issues. But looking at it now, it's just everything's terrible. Like the distance? Hell, the 360 version is actually better than the, than the PC version. If you didn't know. Graphics wise, at least. It has more. It has like more items by the side of the road. And more. Um, better textures. Apart from in glass. Apart, like, apart from the glass, it's got better textures. And more draw distance than even the PC version. Which I always thought was strange. And then I saw Need Speed Underground 1 and I commented why didn't you do the arcade version? Which no one ever remembers the arcade version of Need Speed Underground. Global VR, I have the card for it. I do a video on it at some point if I ever find the machine. Anyway, it's sprint. I guess that'll show my face, won't it? It'll be an interesting video because I, I, I searched for it and I only found like three videos on it on YouTube. The arcade machine. In comes the cost. The arcade has to be okay with me uh, recording it. It's a public place. And also I have to find the machine. That's from the company. I, I used to love the underground arcade machine. Basically it was a PC version, but it had more beat. It had like eight player. Eight, like seven AI you could race against. Because obviously you were one of the other players. Because four regular AI and then you could link four cabinets up together. I assume we could probably link eight cabinets up together. Because I actually found the instruction manual online and they're basically like, if you want to link more cabinets, 
uh, use a route map. So I assume at some point, like if it was, I'm assuming there's something in the firmware to stop it. But imagine if you could, like, if you had like just infinite cabinets. I mean, I assume it would crash the game if you did link them all together. But maybe it's not that be interesting. Anyway, this last race is going to end with us at the board line. Not that much. And it's raining, and I can't remember if that's meant to happen. Or if it was just random weather. I can't believe this. Shit, do I really want it? Yep, we may as well. Oh, he didn't. I thought Razor would have taken the uh, shot. Yeah, I, I just remember the PS2 version. You, like when you went over that jump, that thing that I hit, you probably couldn't see as far as that. That's how terrible it was. How terrible the draw distance was. But you didn't mind because the CRT refresh is so off. They refresh at 60 instead of 30 because it's infilist. But you could actually somehow see more. You could see about the same distance as this, you just, it wasn't in the single frame. Going that out there, like, so it was about the same distance, but you just didn't realise it. And the controller has died. Well, no, it hasn't, it's just disconnected. I'm having to do this sort of, like, claw hand thing, like you do for... If you've ever made a Halo 3 mission, basically to lower the weapon, you have to do this weird claw thing with the controller to get to hit all the right buttons. It's a button combo to lower your weapon. Although you can't do it online. Anyway. I'm having to just hold the controller basically like that all the time, and it hurts your hand. And we're going to go past the police station, which is very important. And also I'm going to shut up during this cutscene that I know is going to happen, because, well, I just know it happens. I, I also hope we don't flip as we turn this corner, as I did in the uh, two-player episode. So, the last time I played this game. There we go. We have won the game. Let's get our car back. And we have a 350 game score achievement. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've been Rob Bean from the Instagamers. Thank you very much for watching. And ta -ra.